Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you, you have a great day. Don't worry about the pre-markets. It's I know you're seeing on the screen right now, red. It's it's small, it's not bad. I mean, it might get worse, but uh, it's for now it's small, it's not bad. Uh, Dow futures negative 48, S&P 500 negative 6.5, and the NASDAQ futures negative 29.75. So yeah, by the way, I am drinking Fredo Espresso. I finally made a good one, because out of the 10 Fredo Espressos I'll make, the nine suck, I, I can't get it right. Japan, negative 0.7%. China is at negative 1.39. Hong Kong is at negative 1.26. England is up 0.5. Germany is up 1.29. France is up 0.8. So Asia is down, Europe is up. Sweet. And the United States is down too. So Europe uh, being with the war right on its back door is up today. Weird. Uh, WTI crude oil, 109. It's so it's down 2.28%. And Brent crude oil is down negative 1.42%. That should make everyone happy when oil prices go down. But when you have invested money in oil, <laughs> in oil stocks, uh, <laughs> this is sad. This is sad to say, right? I, I admit it's sad. I admit it. I admit it. But I have invested in an oil stock a lot. So when I see oil go down, I'm like, no, why are you going down? <laughs> go up. <laughs> All right. Alibaba rises 4% while Tesla rivals Neo Xpeng slip. So this is uh, today at the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which obviously uh, starts trading before the United States uh, for the U.S. markets. So Tencent Holdings is up 3.8%. Alibaba is up 3.6%. Baidu is up 1.6%. And then we have Neo, Xpeng, JD, Li Auto. They're all down 3.3, 3.4, 2.1, and so on. Now, Imperial Petroleum Corporation. I don't own this stock, right? I do not own this stock, and I've never bought it. But it was involved in a meme frenzy this this month in march around march 5th i think because it was always trading around like one dollar something and then it just took off and went all the way up to eight at some uh, within a day or two and then tanked again within the next two days so it was in a meme meme stock frenzy i, I think it was involved in in a reddit forum and this imperium petroleum corporation company is from athens greece and they are a sh a shipping transportation company that transports oil and uh, pet various petroleum crude oil uh, uh, products. But they're going to report their financial results for the fourth quarter and 12 months of 2021 financials. And they're going to record them tomorrow on uh, March 29th before the stock market opens. And I'm thinking, I'm just guessing, I don't know. Maybe it has already started pre-market early hours right now, but I'm thinking that maybe they'll start picking up on it again and uh, as sort of like a mini meme, meme stock frenzy and pump it up today i don't know but uh i will i will follow this is more for those who have a really uh heavy appetite and uh they can they don't care about risking so if you don't if you have a heavy appetite for high risk this might be it and it might be a high reward for a day trade or two or two days or so on i don't know um, so that's Imperial Petroleum Corporation. You can see here the spike when it was just that frenzy that took uh, and it really made some people some money. And don't forget everyone to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Patreon if you want uh, where, where I offer uh, stocks that will help our portfolio grow. Uh, if you want free stocks, free stocks, you can get free stocks with my Weibo link in the comment section below or in the description of the video. Click on it, sign up to Weibo, start trading, and you can get up to four free stocks. Now, New Oriental Education and Technology Group Corporation announces plan to implement ADS ratio change. This is a Chinese company from China. We had, we had uh, covered this company before it went public long ago last year. And it was also involved in a meme stock sort of style frenzy and it went from five bucks to 20 some dollars and then it tanked to 126 now. And it's it's picking up during early hours right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, maybe they'll push this up today. I don't know. Oil slumps to start the week as COVID outbreak in China sparks fresh demand worries. So we have that problem. So China began to lock down the bulk of its financial capital and largest city, Shanghai, on Monday. The two-phase rollout will be the most extensive since officials had confirmed the entire population of Wuhan uh, had, uh, you know, there was it was during 2020, the epic center of the original outbreak. So global markets seem to be a bit nervous about the effectiveness of China's zero tolerance policy during uh, towards COVID and the potential for more demand and supply chain disruptions as we might be only dealing with the tip of the iceberg. They're really, really cracking down on that COVID in China. But at the same time, it, it leads to supply problems, factories being shut down. Um, and, you know, that's also bad for the oil. 
Robinhood is one of the most popular uh, trading platforms, right? A lot of people use Robinhood. And uh, this is uh, Robinhood's, uh, as of uh, March 25th, 2022, the top 10 stocks that Robinhood users are trading the most. So they're trading Apple, Tesla, AMC, Ford, Sundial Growers, Amazon, Microsoft, Walt Disney, Neo, and Meta Platforms. BlackRock again tops Broadridge Fund Brand 50 Global Asset Manager Rankings, and Electrolux reports 78% reduction of greenhouse emissions. We also have Virgin Media O2 partners with uh, VMware to, com to complete 5G rollout across UK and EU. So that's interesting. Ukraine war drives up cost of wind and solar, po and solar power. Volkswagen prepares for a deglobalized world. From GM to Powerade, brands pitch mental health. Farmers, activists, investors fight over treatment of pregnant pigs. Wow. Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson uh, face shareholder pressure to broaden vaccine access and the anxiety inside the online ADHD treatment business. Coinbase said to be in talks to buy Brazil's biggest crypto exchange. This was announced about an hour ago. So major cryptocurrency exchange uh, Coinbase is reportedly in talks to acquire 2TM, the parent company of Brazil's largest crypto exchange, uh, Mercado Bitcoin. Now, bonds slide, stocks set for cautious open in Asia. So stocks in Asia looked set for a cautious start on Monday as Russia's war in Ukraine pushes into its second month and questions swirl about the economic impact of tighter U.S. monetary policy. U.S. big cap stocks turn into world's top haven at uh, as risk rises. Maybe that's, you know, we just saw that in the Robinhood traders, they were trading a lot of uh, big companies. What NEO's ARK Invest Fund inclusion means for the Chinese EV makers. So NEO Incorporation became the latest EV manufacturer to make its way into Kathy Wood's ARK Invest ETF, which is the Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF, ARKQ is the ticket symbol. And that Kathy Wood bought 420,000 plus shares of NEO. And, that was, uh, and that, was, that was disclosed on this past Friday. War sparks Wall Street's rush to commodity rich emerging markets. So as the war, uh, so as the worst quarter for emerging market dollar bonds in 24 years comes to an end, a deep divide is opening uh, as investors focus their hopes on commodity exporters in the Middle East, Latin America, um, soybean, let's say. Fire in Exxon Mobil refinery in Montana shuts down some unit. The chip industry is under uh, threat with the neon production. I did talk about that in the previous video. EU and US agree to a new data sharing pact. And Uber wins a very lengthy battle with the city of London in England. So they won a 30 month London license, ending a lengthy battle. With all that being said, that's the news. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have anything you want to ask or you want to let us know about something about the stock market or how's your day doing. I would be really very happy to read your comments. I wish you all the best. Take care.